Chattanooga is known for a lot of stuff. The aquarium, Lookout Mountain, Ruby Falls, Rock City, um, a choo-choo. One thing that people don't think about when they think about Chattanooga is the International Towing Museum. The Towing Museum is here because the original tow truck, the very first tow truck ever built, was built right here in Chattanooga. Around uh, 1900, 1910, sometime in there, a man had driven his car off the road and into a uh, creek bed, and Mr. Holmes, uh, his first name I don't remember, was the person who came to sort of figure out how to get that car out of the water. And uh, he and about eight other men took all day to get that car out. And then he began to think about how he could make a truck that would be able to pull these things out of wreckages. He made the first truck, sold it, and it became a national and then international um, success as He was selling it to car dealerships and other places that would be working on cars, and they were all just making money hand over fist with tow trucks until finally, during the war, he developed a tow truck for the Army. I think they said there were 7,000 of these manufactured and put into service to keep the military moving during uh, World War II. And as I'm walking around the museum and taking a few videos here and there, looking at some highlights, and then I walk back through again, I'm still seeing trucks like this one that I totally missed the first time through. And uh, this one over here, which is um, an auto car. I have no idea what that is. I saw the other side of this. It's labeled as Dad's. But there's just, there is so much to see here from the way tow trucks have developed over the years, but also the toys that are here for kids to look at and the toys that have been developed over the years. It is simply, simply worth the nine bucks to walk through here. So if you're coming to Chattanooga, this might be a decent place to stop. Well, I will be the first to admit that I had a lot of fun at the International Towing Museum. Um, You know, I've seen the sign for that for 20 years. (laughs) And I have, uh, I've never, you know, sometimes I've been like, well, maybe I should go. And I'm like, no, that's got to be, that's going to, I mean, it's a towing museum. I mean, come on. But I'm also an old car buff and, you know, I love to go to old car shows and take pictures and, and the things that they have on display there are just magnificent. They are magnificent examples of the history of towing in this country. One of the things that, um, that I learned while I was there, just sort of as a point of interest, is that of the first responders to accidents on the highways, the first responders who are killed in responding, tow truck drivers are the highest percentage. Um, and one of the reasons why they they developed this move over law to get out of the lane so that you can give them plenty of room. And if you don't do that, please start doing that because it is 
very, very important. Just a couple of quick things about, about making this video. The only thing that I took with me today was my little credit card holder. I didn't take a microphone. I didn't take the Manus pod. I didn't take anything else. Wasn't really sure what I was walking into and I didn't want to walk in with a bunch of stuff. So I was able to do all of the moving shots, just hand holding the iPhone because I'm only, I'm only panning for six or seven seconds. I did try to use action mode um, to sort of stabilize the camera, but there wasn't enough light for that. And so it, it, it didn't work. I did make most of the videos, not all of them, but most of the handheld videos I shot on the uh, half magnification lens rather than the one-time lens just to sort of give it that wide panorama look and be, and be able to get more of the truck in the screen at one time. And then when I did the walking around videos or me talking, it was on the one-time screen. Sometimes I use the two-time screen. I did decide sort of at a last, as a last minute deal to do the narration. Uh, I did it actually in last. I'd already taken all the other video. I was considering coming home to do a voiceover and I thought, no, I should, I should probably walk around with the museum behind me. And I wanted to do a couple of shots, kind of like I did at Bucky's with my phone on a shelf and, you know, the scene behind me. But the only places to set my phone were too low. There wasn't any place I could set it that that would have worked. So I got what I got. But it, I do recommend, if you're coming to Chattanooga and you're looking for something interesting to do, it's nine bucks to get in. And I was there probably about an hour. Um, it's a really nice place. And uh, I recommend it. We will see you tomorrow.